welcome back to the Drunken Spear. Hey, we've got two more helmets for you to review. We've got the animated Phase 2 Waxer Specialist. This thing is wicked cool. Wicked cool. So it goes up. And you can see out of it like normal, right? Yeah, you can see out of it like normal. So we'll go ahead and put this guy in. This thing is wild. Now this came in two pieces from Somalia of Art. This was a part from this. It was interesting to put together. I figured it out. You definitely want to be careful upon assembly because it would be super easy to possibly break, I felt like. Um, so, check. man, this thing's so cool. Put it on. You can see like normal, right? So I figured there's no freaking way that you're going to be able to see through this thing, right? And in a dark area, it's a real pain. And you can't see that great. However, when you pull this guy down, I can actually see. And it gives it like a red tint. Like I'm looking through some sort of night vision or, or have like some sort of zoom opticals or whatever the hell these things are supposed to do. I haven't researched it, but I need to. Uh, very, 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 very cool. Oh man, this thing is sick. And the detail, two thumbs up, man, two thumbs up. I'd give it four if I had four thumbs. I mean, man, this thing is so cool. The, uh, if you look at the side of the helmet here, you can see the droid. They paint, he painted a droid and you've got the tally marks again and Oh, look at that Twi'lek girl on there. The the young the young Twi'lek girl that they rescue in the one episode of the Clone Wars. I mean, that is awesome paint detail. I'm going to come over there and I'm going to get closer to the camera. We'll go ahead and we'll stick Boost off on the side here. This is Boost. We'll stick him on the turntable. I planned on doing him first, but damn, I'm just too excited about this guy. This guy is so cool. Check out that paint detail. I mean, man, I'm thrilled with it. You know, the clones really remind me of, like, the Clone Wars and stuff. It kind of reminds me of a uh, a space World War II type era. You know, you've got the the clones decorating their, their ships and their... Uh, their helmets and stuff, like Vietnam, stuff like that. It's, it's just... So cool. Absolutely love it. Hopefully you can get some good views. But check out that droid on there. I mean, that's a good, good painting. Super thrilled with this guy. I don't know if you can... You definitely can't see through there. But you can actually see out of it. Let's see here. This is a complete experiment. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm going to put it in the video though regardless. So if it looks like shit, I'm sorry. Here, check this out. I don't know what you can see because I can't tell. Hopefully I didn't rattle your brain too much. I'm going to have to check back in that one. And if it's bad, I'll just cut it out. But that helmet is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Take a look down in here at the uh, optics that he's got on. I don't know if I can. But they're definitely, the way they are, they align with both your eyes. And it's just like looking through like a pair of binoculars. Uh, Somali of Art, you have outdone yourself with this, guys. Highly recommend getting a specialist and adding it to your collection. It's cool. Very cool. Granted, it might be hard to troop in this thing, but man, 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 man. Too cool. Too cool. I was not expecting that when I got it. I was expecting that to be a non-functional piece, but it is indeed functional. Yeah, it takes you a minute to find your bearings, and you can still kind of see out of the peripherals um, and like through the nose hole and stuff a little bit. And if you turn your head certain ways, you can see things. But I can see the camera, and it lines up perfectly. 
Very cool helmet. This one, uh, it's definitely one of my favorites. Hands down, one of my favorites. The more I get into these, the more I enjoy the animated versions. Uh, it's just the way they look. I, I don't know. I'm not sure why. But the more I get into them, the more I enjoy the animated versions. Um, the differences between the two, you'll be able to see on these two helmets. This is an R uh, Revenge of the Sith movie realistic boost. And this is an animated waxer. Um, so, yeah. It, it's so cool. Obviously, you got your detailed differences on the sides here. Um, you have your lines in the front here that are different. Um, the backs of them are obviously different. And the fin on the top seems a little bit taller in the movie realistic one. Um, I don't have a movie realistic one yet with a specialist that's a specialist. But, hey, maybe someday, right? Uh, the inside of this helmet is super smooth. And the way they make it to where you can actually get this inside, this is they like leave slits here in the side of the earpieces. It's like cut out. And then this moves up and down. And it's actually pretty stable. If I was to shake it fairly good, this doesn't come down. I mean, I think it came down a little bit, but it didn't come down a lot. So that's very, very cool. Very cool. And then we have Boost. Pull him off the turntable. And we will go ahead and get our Buddy Waxer on the turntable. So this guy is sweet too. I love the 104th. Commander Wolf is awesome. This is awesome. The paint application, once again, is phenomenal. The inside is great. It's nice and smooth. I mean, to feel it, it feels rough, but it looks nice and smooth. There's no, like, um, issues, like, on the inside, like on a, on a couple of them. Let's see, which one was it that had that issue? I think it was this one. Yeah. Yeah, this one just kind of seemed rough on the inside, the bark. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm talking about is up inside here. And you can kind of see right there in the light as the light hits it, this right here. You can kind of see that. All that is is like, it's definitely got, it's definitely got an edge to it right there. It's got an edge. It's not, I wouldn't call it sharp or anything. But it just looks like the thing was poured possibly in a hurry. I mean, it's a possibility. Who, who knows? Like I said, they're all handmade. And even though that is the case with this one, uh, it still doesn't take away the detail and how cool it is. I never put this one on. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Did I put it on? I don't think I did. And two thumbs up for this one, too. The bark, it's in an earlier video. You can check it out. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm going to have to get more helmet stands. So back to Boost. Yeah, Boost is phenomenal. I love that eye design on him. Love the 104th. I've said that already. Everything's great. I've seen some earlier YouTube videos earlier, like four years ago, two years ago, where people were getting these broken. Uh, so far, I have received, we've received a total of 22 helmets from them, and not a single one has been broken. So they have definitely, look at the inside there, they have definitely fixed that issue.
So that is exciting. That is Boost. Boost looks great too. Um, check out the visibility. Put him on. Yeah. See, this guy feels a little bit tighter to me when I put him on. Um, like my eyes are closer to the lens. They probably have different molds that they use. So it, it, it would be really hard if you have a larger head uh, to find a helmet that'll fit you. But this guy's pretty cool. Double thumbs up. Visibility isn't as good in this one as it is over here. In the animated or over here. But it's not bad. You can probably wear it into Lowe's and buy your, uh, buy your hardware for your wall mount. So... Well, that's Boost. Like we said before, if you guys have any questions about any of these, if you want pictures, uh, if you have a video request that you'd like me to do or something that I'm not covering on these, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Um, love doing these videos. Love talking about the clone helmets. Love talking about the clones in general. It's my favorite part of Star Wars. So with that, as always, thank you for watching. God bless and have a great day.